Just walk in here. This is the hidden back base. How do I know you're not a Vulcan spy sent to kill Gad on Thek? Maybe so. But this door is locked, and it's going to stay that way until I'm satisfied you're no threat to Gad and or the hidden backs. A lot of people want to go inside and speak to Gadden. He's a hero of the common folk. But the days of the Hidden Beck's open door policy are gone. Between the Sith Conquest and the Vulcra Gang War, Gadon has more enemies than he used to. We're being careful about who we let in now. My loyalty's not for sale. I've been with the Hidden Becks for years, and I'm not going to desert Gadon now just because everyone is turning against him. Well, we do need all the help we can get. And you don't look like you're with the Vulcars or the Sith. Besides, it's not like you can do anything to harm Gadon in the heart of his own base. Not with Zedra watching his back. Go in and speak to Gadon if you want. Just remember to be on your best behavior. The Hidden Becks are watching you. Hold it right there. Who are you? And what is your business with Gadden? Calm down, Zerdra. Nobody's going to try anything here in the middle of our own base. It would be a suicide mission. You're too trusting, Gadden. Brezhik and his Vulkers want you dead. Anyone we don't know is a potential threat, and it's my job to make sure you're safe. Do you want us to start attacking strangers on sight, Zerdra? Like the Vulkers do? I will never let it come to that. Now step aside and let them pass. As you wish. You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye on you. You try anything and you'll be vaporized before you can say Vulcar spy. You'll have to forgive Zerdra. Ever since Brejic and the Vulcars began this war against us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. The problems with the Sith haven't helped things. Zerdra seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Now, how can I help you? The escape pods? You know, I heard the Sith have been asking around the upper city about them as well. But you don't look like you're with the Sith. They might be spies, Gadden. They might be working for the Sith. Calm down, Zerdra. If the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. No, I think this offworlder has her own agenda. I suppose I could tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulcas, and that's okay in my book. The Vulcas stripped those pods clean within hours after they landed. It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulcas found. A female Republic officer named Bastila survived the crash. We Becks don't believe in intergalactic slavery, but the Vulcas aren't so picky. They took a prisoner. Normally, the Vulcars would take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Davik, or an off-world slaver. But a Republic officer is no ordinary catch. I still think Bastila is just a Republic officer. That could work to our advantage. Maybe she'll even figure out a way to escape from the Vulcar base on her own. She's too valuable to leave with the Vulcar scum at the base. Brezhik's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Brezhik's game to take over the lower city. He's 
has offered her up as the Vulcan's share of the prize in the annual Swoop Gang race. By putting up such a valuable prize, Brezhik hopes to win the loyalty of some of the smaller gangs. Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy me and my followers. So how do you propose we go about rescuing Bastila, then? Well, we can't fight all the gangs. The only hope you have of rescuing Bastila is to somehow win the big season opener of the Swoop Race. I might be able to help you with this, if you'd be willing to help us. We both have something to gain here, and much to lose. You're in no position to bargain here. Without my help, you don't have a hope of getting this Bastila back. You should at least listen to what I have to say. The swoop race is for the lower city gangs only. I could sponsor you as a rider for the Hiddenbecks this year. If you win the race, you'll win your friend's freedom. But first, you have to do something for me. My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a swoop engine. A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. But the Vulkers stole the prototype from us. They plan to use it to guarantee a victory in this year's swoop race. I need you to break into their base and steal it back. Getting into the Vulker base won't be easy. The front doors are locked tight. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. Mission Veo. Mission? Gaddon, you can't be serious. She's just a kid. How is she supposed to help them with this? Mission's explored every step of every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the undercity sewers better than anyone. If anyone can get inside the Vulker base, it's her. Don't underestimate Mission or her Wookiee friend Zalbar. They're a formidable pair. Tough enough to go exploring the Undercity by themselves. Your best bet is to look for her in the Undercity. But you'll need some way past the Sith Guard post at the elevator. A simple disguise might have worked on the Upper City Guard, but the security down here is much tougher. You'll need the proper papers to get past him. Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the Undercity. They never made it, and their security papers fell into my hands. Since we're working together now, I suppose I could give them to you in exchange for your uniforms. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. Good choice. Thanks for the uniforms. You won't need them with these security papers anyway. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? I suggest you hurry. The swoop race is coming up, and we want you to have time to practice before the race. You're behind with your payments. What do you, uh, you think just because you're in some gang, you don't have to give Davik his cut? Ah, so you want to play this the hard way. <laughs> okay. Tony Pudu! Rana no prata don't know, Sarcha! Get you a penki! What on a woman mulira? Get you to Bashak! No bully mulira, ji, Johnny Tun, Turji, chi, we eat a do! Bola una dicek! Bala mure slimo wanga kun bisching! I knew you boys would see reason. Now get out of here! Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Maybe next time, Candorus. I better get this over to Davik. I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. Those Valkers are dumber than a chorus and granite slug. They actually think being in that pathetic little gang of theirs makes them important. Gaddon keeps his hidden Bex in line, 
But Brezhik's getting dreams of grandeur. If Davik's smart, he'll slap that young punk back down. I'm someone you don't want to get on the bad side of. And I'm not one for small talk. I don't have time to stick around here anyway. Davik's got me working on a special assignment. <laughs> Time to rumble! Hold on there, civilian. Only those with official Sith business are allowed into the Undercity. Unless you've got the proper security papers, you better just turn around and go back the way you came. You just made a big mistake. Chiwi Aita Katon Chicha Agi Inko Tune Kuna Muri Ra Tangi Wama Jikona Tonk Kipa Nonku Nek Abog Gio Kaku Kimba Muri Ra Donaji Kuyami Juski Chika Nai Uba Baska Dwana Chichopa Muska She's got a soki kupa bona na chaju. Here's a bounty on your little green heads. I'm here to collect. Just crunky to pets nemo. Chi ita kanki chana kilikon. Kinba muli rat wana ji. Kinba no kun nixet abog. That's the plan. Stop right there, or I'll give you a blaster shot right between the eyes. Now, what are you doing here? You're a fool if you think you can collect the price on my head. Now you'll see why I'm the most dangerous assassin on Taris. Ready. for the upper city. Yeah, go back to where you came from. We don't want your kind up here. Yeah, why would a human want to help you, freak? Take that, you alien scum. Wow, you got him good that time. Hey, I think he's dead. Let's get out of here. Yes, what's on your mind? Do some more, is that it? <laughs> Can't say I've ever met a woman quite like you before. You're really something. I just don't trust easily, and for good reasons, which are my own. <laughs> well, I might be willing to take you up in that challenge, but uh, you're just not going to let up. 
You want to know why I don't trust anyone? Here it goes. Five years ago, the Jedi had just finished the war with the Mandalorians. Revan and Malak were heroes. I was damn proud of serving the fleet. It was completely unexpected when they turned on us, invading the Republic while we were still weak. Nobody knew what to think, least of all me. Our heroes had become brutal, conquering Sith. And we were all helpless before. I mean, think about it, if you can't even trust the best of the Jedi, who can you trust? Of course the Jedi turned to the dark side. There were others, however, who weren't Jedi. Good men, trusted men, who joined them. Malak and Revan and the Sith deserve to die for what they've done. But the ones who fled the Republic and joined them are even worse. The dark side has nothing to do with why they joined with the Sith. They deserve no mercy. I know, I am. And I should apologize to you. I've become so accustomed to expecting the worst in others, and you've done nothing to deserve that. It's just... No, no, no. Let's just continue with what we were doing. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs>